Welcome back team, here is the new sample workout for the new Beachbody program 645 by Wallace Caesar. Once you've finished it, let me know what you think in the comments below along with any questions you may have. And I'll also leave a 14 day free trial for Beachbody On Demand and details about how you can join my personal bod group down below. Let's go! What's up? I'm Wallace Caesar, creator of 645, which is a six day a week, 45 minute a day functional training program designed to help you reach your peak in just 13 weeks. Everyone's version of peak is different. Whether you're looking to lose a little weight, keep up with your kids, build power, strength, speed, agility, mobility, or to get a six pack you've always wanted. I have the most comprehensive fitness program ever created. 13 weeks is a serious commitment. I want you coming back every single week, which is why I program 645, so you don't ever feel defeated. I want you feeling great after every workout, happier, healthier, and more fulfilled than when you started. Yeah, I'm seasoned, baby. That's why I keep you coming back, so you can reach your peak. I've coached everyone, from professional athletes, celebrities, moms, dads, and the one thing in common is that we all have an athlete within. I want you to unleash your athlete by giving you a comprehensive warm-up, a purposeful functional workout that leaves you and make you feel like you've had an amazing experience. These warm-ups will prime your body for peak performance. Through 13 weeks, the workouts will push your body in ways that you've never intended to get the results that you've always wanted. The periodization of this program is broken up into four stages, ramping up in intensity and complexity, but making sure we never overtrain. We want to work smarter and not harder, which is why we built in a deload week at the end of every stage. So you're not feeling lethargic or beat or exhausted. The moment you start exceeding your recovery capabilities, that's when you start plateauing. So I want you to recover so you can elevate your performance as you go into every stage. Although this is an intermediate program, we have a modifier to show you any modifications that you may need to keep you in the game to keep you pushing so you can make it to the next level. The 645 workout is awesome. All you need is dumbbells, light, medium, heavy, and your power loops, the premium fabric resistant bands to help you with activation. That's it. So, hope you took your Energize, AKA Hustle Juice, because class is in session. Welcome team, this is 6.45, six days a week, 45 minutes of your time. What's up guys? So this is our sample workout. I'm here with the crew. We're excited to get started with you guys. We're gonna talk about program overview once we get into our warm up. Let's get it. Let's get it. Y'all ready? Yeah. What's up everybody? So this is a 13 week journey that we're going to embark on. So we're gonna be here committed. I'm ready to get started with you guys. Before any workout, we're always gonna start with an eight to 12 to 15 minute warm up before we begin. So this is where we go over fundamental skills, we teach movement, and so now, team, let's show them how we get it done. So the first thing we're gonna start off with, we're gonna start off with knee pulls. So you're gonna grab your knee, bring it towards your chest, find your balance, alternate between the two. We're gonna stay here for one minute. We're starting in three, two, Let's go. Grab your knee, drive it up. So to my side right here, I have the beautiful Cheyenne. She is your modifier. She will guide you and show you exactly what you need to do. To my right, I have Jordan. Hey. Jordan, she's a bad, <laughs> she's a bad one. And behind Jordan, I have Nikki. Hi. Hey. She's gonna bring nothing but joy for you guys. And all the way here to my side, I got Man Man, AKA Manny. AKA his daddy. Oh man. Oh my gosh. That's why I saved him for last. I'm not listening to him, <laughs> it's too much. We're almost there everyone, so as you pull, make sure we go into extension. So you'll see this leg is fully extended. I'm flexing my knee all the way to my chest. My foot is in dorsiflexion. Almost there team. And five, four, three, two, one, now we're gonna get into our hamstring. So we're gonna scoop, bring our hands over, switch, scoop, and then from here, two toe taps. 
Let me show you one more time. Hey, tap, tap. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> Manny, thanks for that. Let's get to it in three, two, go. So, this is where we spend time working on our form. Form is gonna be extremely important in this program. So in our first two weeks, we're focusing on accumulation, getting a lot of volume in, working on our fundamental movements. And then on the third week, we intensify it. Same with our fourth week, but our fourth week, we deload. So we bring down the volume and how many sets that we do. Our fourth week is used as a recovery week. So at every stage, we have recovery. Hey, let's keep going. So I'm already sweating. I don't know about y'all. I'm already sweating. Oh, yes. Almost there. Good. Tap, tap. Last one, everyone. Scoop, scoop, scoop. There it is. Tap, tap. I love it. So now we're going to go into side to side lunges. So I'm going to take a large step laterally to my side, keep my chest up. As I push, push from my full foot. So you want to blast from the ground as you're in your side lunge. You need to modify, you can place your hand on your knee and then we keep going. All right, team, we're starting in three, two, and go. Chest stays up, push, reset, and keep moving side to side. So a warm up isn't just about getting your body to sweat. It's actually about just prepping, helping you optimize yourself for your actual workout, which we're gonna call movement skill. So what we're focusing on right now is movement prep. So as we push, chest stays up, large step. Woo! Is this a workout or is this a warm up? Right, I'm sweating already. I don't know what this is. Talk to them. Let them know. Good. So in this program, we have fun. We keep it raw. We keep it exposed. I got my guy, Coach Cody. Coach he will be your assistant. Cody, he will call you out anytime you have bad form. Hey, 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 hey. Appreciate you, Coach. My man. So now we're going to go into a reverse lunge. I'm going to take a step back. Reach over my head. I'm gonna switch. Reach over your head. Do not allow your knee to drop to the ground. Try to keep your balance, okay? One minute. Let's take it slow. Three, two, and go. Nice and slow. So we're opening up our core, stabilizing in that lunge position. So like I said, every workout, starts with this. Seven exercises, full body, but each day has a different emphasis. So today, we're gonna show you an overview of what every workout has. Good. Reach, keep your core tight. You're getting quiet now, because we focus. So focused. I gotta focus on my balance. I gotta be here. Hey, 15 seconds remaining, everyone. Uh, Reach. Whoa, Manny. Oh, I'm Manny. For it. It's like clockwork with him. And last one, everyone. Woo. One more step. Great job. Yeah, it's magic. Woo. You tell me we ain't right, sweating. Oh, I don't sorry. know what you're talking about. You see it. So let's head down. We're now going to get into our shoulders and our chest. So everyone, we're going to go down into a plank position. Come on, Leo. There you go. Appreciate you. My guy. So we're going to start off in a full plank. We're going to go into a cobra, stretching our core. Then we're going to push back into a downward dog. When we're in that downward dog, stretching out our hamstring, our calf. We're also hitting our back as well. So if you need to modify, you drop down to your knee in between every transition. So I'm here, pick my knees up, then I stretch it out. You see the sweat? <laughs> yeah. We're not playing. Let's get to it. One minute of action. And three, two, let's go into our cobra and look up. Good. Now push back into our downward dog. 
Good. Push up. Push into our downward dog. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Time to breathe. <clears throat> Good old loving right here. So we're gonna spend a lot of time loving ourselves, loving our bodies. Loving each other. Yes, loving each other. Okay, we can love each other. So sweet. That's normally a Nikki line. But we'll take it today, Manny. He's a different I'm person. Off on it. it could be worse. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Whose man's is this? <laughs> Whose child is this? <laughs> Whose children are these? We're almost there. We're stretching it through. Hey, we got less than 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, and awesome job. We're gonna reset. Woo! Now, everyone, we're gonna head back up. Ooh. Had to wipe that sweat for a second. Let me too. dab it down. <laughs> I mean, Y'all think this is fake? This is real. Oh, this is a real deal. Oh, man. Sweat equity, baby. So we're gonna go into the world's greatest stretch. I'm gonna take one large step back. So big step back into reverse lunge. I bring both of my hands down to the ground. From here, I'm gonna turn my chest towards my knee, raise my hand high, then bring my hand down to the ground, push back into a hamstring stretch. Then I bend my knee, I step back forward, and we switch over and do the same. So everyone, I'm gonna bring my left side, or it doesn't matter which side you guys decide to start with, we gotta do both sides no matter what. So I'm gonna bring this leg back in three, two, and go. Big step back, both hands on the inside, turn. Hand comes down, now we push back. Bend your knee and stand. Ooh. Let's go to the other side. That is a big step. This is a big step. You know what I love this? This is so good. Bang for your butt. You're doing a full body stretch with this move. But it also feels like a workout. So this is that mobility phase that we talk about in our program. So every Wednesday, we break up our lift with mobility and stability. You will find a lot of these moves on our Wednesday workouts. Just gives us time to prep our bodies and prepare for the end of the week. We're gonna do one more, everyone. Nice, slow, reach, push back. Now bend your knee and we're standing up Nice and control. That's a good one. That's Taking a great one. That's why it's called one. the world's greatest stretch. That's why it's called the world's greatest. She got it. So everyone, we are going to grab loops. Mini bands or power loops. However you guys have, we have two different ones. Our Beast Body products, brand new. Love them. These are new additions. So the black one is more intense. The gray one is lighter. Just for the sample workout today. Which one am I gonna choose? Intense. Intense? Get it, yes. Let's do it. My man called it out. So we're gonna safely step into our loop. So make sure both feet touch the ground. Pull all the way above your knee. Nice. So the first thing we're gonna start off with is activation for our glute. Wake them up. We're gonna take two steps to our right, then two steps to our left. And then we're gonna constantly go back and forth for 30 seconds. We're starting in three, two, go. And one, Two. So the key of this is to make sure your knees are tracking over your second and third toe. Also, you want your feet to be shoulder width apart. So we want to be wide. We don't want to collapse. We're also focusing on not allowing our knees to cave in. Good, we're almost there, team. That's good. So we're working that glute. You got a job today. You about to show up on time. Good and stop. Now we're gonna take a step back, then we reset wide, step back, reset wide. Now we're hitting our glute max. 30 seconds of action, and three, two, and go. Take a step back, reset, chest stays up. We're always in an athletic position, so that means I'm in a 15 degree bend with my knees. So if I had to jump right now, I'm ready to jump. If I had to sprint, I'm ready to sprint. So this is why it's called an athletic position. Good, keep going. Yep, those glutes are firing. They are, they are burning. Them up. How your glutes hanging, Cheyenne? Feeling good. Good, <laughs> and burning. stop. All right, so just a little quick demo of what we do before we start. Usually these are a little bit longer. So let's get into our workout first. 
Keep your power loop on. The first thing that we're gonna start with is a goblet squat, banded. So I'm gonna grab weight. I need one dumbbell for this. We have 15 reps. So this is our EMOM portion. This is our lower body strength. With our lower body strength and our upper body strength, we always have an EMOM. Every minute on the minute, we're gonna put in work. So let me show you. Start of minute one, we're gonna drop down for 15 squats. However long it takes us to go, maybe 15, 20 seconds, whatever remaining time we have is our break. So we're gonna repeat that four times, okay? So let's get into our position. The key is we want two points of contact, dumbbell on my sternum, dumbbell on my belly. So the moment I go into my squat, I'm gonna remain and keep those two points of contact. At any time it starts to come off, that means you're leaning forward and not driving down and staying upright. And three, two, 15, baby, let's go. And one, two, good, three. So as you see, modifier only using her band. We don't use weight. We're gonna progress you. This program is an undulating periodization program. I'll tell you what that means in a second. Five, four, squeeze, three, squeeze, two, and one. How long did that take us, coach? Yes. So that means we have 35 seconds to breathe. So our undulating periodization, there's gonna be waves of intensity. Then we're gonna bring it down, and then waves of intensity. This progresses in every stage. So this allows us to recover and not be on go mode all the time. So we're going back in again. Shake and bake. Oh yeah. Shake and bake. Shake and bake, baby. Yeah. Nikki! Yeah. Let's get it! <laughs> Three, two, and go. One, two. Keep your chest up. Good, keep going, everyone. I'm gonna take my power loop off. I'm going to coaching mode. So, in our program, we will coach. I'm gonna coach your form. I'm gonna make sure that your form is always in check. There's a saying that I have is form check. Woo. Good, two more. Last one, take a break. Yeah. Awesome job. We're powering through that one. We're powering through. So the goal is, knees must track over your toe. Ooh, bang, bang. Also, you want your feet to be about shoulder width apart. Now, if you have great mobility, you can bring them in hip width apart. But for the first beginning, I want you to keep them shoulder width. That allows you to drive from your heels, push up, squeeze your glute, okay? Go! Okay, okay. 10 okay. seconds. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. And five. Oh, yeah. Ready for the burn. Four. Oh, yeah. <laughs> three. Let's do it. Two. Yeah, Let's go. And one. Good. Two. Three. So we have two points of contact. At any time that dumbbell comes off of your stomach, that means you're leaning forward and you're not staying upright. We gotta keep you upright. So we're using the dumbbell to help you with your form. And five, good, four, good, three, good, two, yeah. One, how long did that take us, coach? 24 seconds, we moving faster and faster, my man. Oh man. I like that. That's why Way to work. Down. We working. Oh yeah. Whoa. My booty. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get him for that. All right. So we're gonna now head over to Cheyenne. How long we got, coach? We got 15 seconds. So the one thing I love about the modifier is we get this time to really benefit. You see so much benefit from moving progressively slow, and then you see how stronger you get as we continue to go. We're going in three, two, and go. And one. She's counterbalancing, bringing her hands out, so that lets me know that her chest is sitting upright. You want your spine to be neutral. Great job. So she even has her feet slightly turned out, which I love. I'm not against it. The only time I'm gonna flag her on it is if her knees are not tracking over her toe. We have two more. Oh, yeah. One more. Oh, yeah. It'll work. Form check. So let's talk about it. Our form check videos, we will go over posture. We'll go over your transitional movements. We're gonna go over your dynamic movements. So make sure before you start this program, you start with your form check. There's a lot of vital information in there. Coach, was that four rounds? That was four, that was definitely yeah, four. Yeah, that, that flew. I was gonna say. All right, 10, 
So now what we're gonna get into, we're gonna get into our torque press. So you need one dumbbell for this. Let me go grab a little lighter weight. So we're gonna go into a half kneel position. I'm gonna have one leg up. I'm gonna hold the dumbbell in my opposite hand. Now guys, sometimes we are gonna be on our knees, so please have a pad or a towel to help you support your knee. So how we're gonna rock out? We're gonna keep this hand parallel with our thigh. We're gonna rack it into a curl and bring it towards our shoulder. Then we're gonna turn, then reset. Here's how we look, game speed. As we curl, we turn. So we're gonna do 15 each side. 15? 15. 15. So once we're finished, we have ski swings. Can I steal someone's weight? Oh, of course. What's weight? This is 20? 15? Nope. All right, let me go grab my weight. <laughs> grab my I'm weight. And I was. So I wanted to go a little heavier. <laughs> that 15 wasn't going to do nothing for me. No disrespect. And we're going to bring it right here on our shoulders. We're going to unrack, swing, bring it to our shoulders, swing. We're going to Aspen this weekend. We're going to hang out. As we swing, we're going to hinge. Once we're done with that, I'm gonna coach that for you guys even more when we get into the workout. We're gonna go into a beast position. All four, lift your hand. I'm gonna call out. I might do a contralateral lift where we're lifting our hand and our opposite leg or single lift. So we're gonna be in that position for 35 seconds. Everything else is 15 reps. Team, let's get to it. All right. Get it. And we're starting half kneel position. Make sure this quad parallel to the sky. We have our dumbbell in our opposite hand. And three, two, let's go. Rack, turn, good. So this is our power portion. It's about four times velocity. So each day has a different emphasis. So today we're doing all, I believe, five to six modalities. But when we get into our program, one day we're gonna mainly focus on power. Good. Keep going, everyone. Coach mode. So as we go up, we rack to our shoulder. We bring our dumbbell and we turn using our thoracic spine. We're not going to move mainly in our hips. Most of the motion comes from our upper back. That is our T-spine. We need more rotation of it. We need more extension of it. Last one. Yeah. Let's get it. And. Good job, Wei Wei. <laughs> you guys are gonna find out about this story real soon. And we're switching over. Three, two, and some of you guys probably already know. And go. Just wait and until you pull those moves out. Pull the oh, moves out. Yeah, I'm ready for the dance party. Uh-huh. Man, I'm not the best dancer. What? I've seen your moves. I've seen your moves. That's but when I you. get in I've seen you twerk. You've seen me twerk. You've yeah. never seen me twerk. I've you never seen me I don't know twerk. if we were there for that one. Uh, I'll tell you, I, I, I can't twerk. I use all back, right? You need, you need more glutes. I feel like a lot of our movements are kind of like dance moves, though. They are. So they're just flowing. I call this poetry in motion. I like mm, that. Poetry in motion. <laughs> Smooth. So as we press, make sure our wrist stacks over our shoulder. So most of the rotation, you see how Nikki, the rotation is coming from her upper body. That's where we have to keep our motion. We got two more, team. Nice. Last one. We finish as a killer. Yeah. Awesome love. job. Killer love, killer man, love. man. You just won't let me get away from it. All right, so we're gonna go into our ski swings. Jordan's gonna show you guys. She's gonna set the tempo for you. We're gonna get started in a couple seconds. Okay. And we're gonna load our weight up on our shoulder. So when we swing, the motion is coming from our hips. So we want to sit our butt back towards the wall, keep a neutral spine. Your feet could be hip width apart so you don't hit your dumbbells on your thigh. And three, two, show them how it's done. Go, one, rack it to the shoulder. Go, two, go, three. There we go. Is you all right, Manny? You still here? I thought she was showing us. No, we rocking. Manny looking around like, huh? What's happening? And you got three more, actually, since you came in late. You ain't gonna show up to class late and leave early. Nah, fam. And four, three, two, Manny, keep going. One, give me three more. There we go. Class is in session, last one. Thank you. That's how we finish as a team. 
So now we're gonna go into our beast. Now our modifier, we're gonna have you start on your knees first. So I'm gonna hang out with Cheyenne. Sounds yes. Good. We're gonna go into our profile shot. Show your good side, girl. Show them. Ooh, <laughs> go ahead, hair swip. <laughs> Both my good side. Let them know. <laughs> Let it glow. So, this is how we're gonna start off. We're gonna go into our all four. Her shoulder's gonna stack over her wrist. Her hips are directly over her knee. She's gonna keep her knees on the ground. When I call out a cue, she's gonna lift her body and then bring it back down to the ground. You guys get it? Yep. All right, you guys, you're already beast mode activated. Yes. And three, two, and right hand. Good, right back down. Left hand. I want you to keep your core tight. Right leg. Good, bring it down. Left leg. Awesome job, we're here for 35 seconds. Right hand, left leg. Uh-oh, there we go. Nice. Left hand, right leg. Right leg. Nikki's like, where am I? Right leg. Ah, last one, left leg. Making us exercise our, our brain here. Coach. And take 45, yeah. Really with my head. Not only are we exercising our muscle, we're exercising our brain. That's right, that's right. This is a muscle we gotta keep working. That little brain oh. So guys, let's talk about big old brain. Yeah, I got a big brain, big muscle, big brain, big organ. So we take 45 seconds in between. Now, when we get into these movements, that was a tempo move that we were focusing on. So as we progress in the program, we're gonna do a lot of primal movements. So it's important to work shoulder stabilization and core stabilization, and that's what we're focusing on in our tempo. Coach says that we have 15 seconds. Oh, we got 10? Hey. This man be messing up counts. No, he don't, he's the best. Five seconds. We're in our torque, and three, two, and go. And we turn. So good. We rack it to our shoulder. We're getting our biceps in. We're working our shoulder. Now the key is we want to try to push this knee out a little bit more and keep that foot flexed. Good. Dig that foot into the ground. That's perfect, Manny. Good job. So some of you guys might recognize Manny from six weeks of the world. He's always the class clown. I can tell you that, guys. I will tell you that. So as your coach, my job is to be your teacher. You guys as the athlete, you guys are the students. Our lesson today of what we're learning is anatomy and about our body and fundamental skills. So that is what we're teaching. That's what you're learning. Good, we have one more, everyone. Keep it controlled. Awesome job, switching on over. Anatomy. We're learning anatomy, we're learning movement. It's all about movement, not about the muscle. We're focusing on quality movement. And Coach, three. You're making me work. Two, I'm making you sweat too. Yep. Get some, go. One, good. So what I love about this program is the interaction. I get the joke. I get to hang out with awesome people. Aww. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. I wasn't oh, talking about you. Awesome. Love it. I wasn't. That was pretty awesome. I'm not, I'm not talking about Manny though, right? I'm talking about these three ladies right here, okay? Uh, you guys are amazing. You guys are athletes. You guys are dancers. You guys are coming all across the world to be here. I'm happy that you guys are here. Let's keep working. We have five more. As we turn, we want our hips to be stable. Good. We have three more. Nice. Power up, swing through, get more momentum. Last one. Use this torque power and great job. All right, awesome. So guess what we're doing? Yeah. Yes. More of a snowboarding guy. Snowboarding? Okay. I've never done either, either or, but hey, I'm, I'm down to try it. Oh my gosh. We're going to ask. So much fun. Let's go get it. All right, team. We're racking up. And five, four. That was my like prep mode for skiing. And three, two. And let's go. <laughs> Swing. Rack. Good. Three. Get up that mountain. Four. Your sweat is like flying. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to hit a wall with my sweat. Please don't get me. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Nikki's like, get up that mountain. Let's go. Get up that mountain, everyone. Let's go. We're almost there. Last one. Woo. I think I'm ready. I might be able to do it. So why functional training? Then show us. 
Functional has purpose. Every day, we're doing functional movements. So I like to prepare for my day by doing functional training. And we're gonna go into our beast. Who am I going to get on today? Nikki! Nope. <laughs> you pointed, so I'm on you now. All right, everyone, beast mode activated. When we say beast mode activated, that means our knees are off the ground. Three, two, and... He's making this beast noise. He is. <laughs> we're just gonna let Manny have this moment. You guys, we can still hold this out, but we're gonna let Manny get whatever he got in his throat out. Get it out your throat. I got it. And left leg. Good. Right leg. Left hand, right leg. Oh, throwing you off. Right hand, left leg. Good. This is an anti-rotation exercise. Right hand. We don't want to rock. And left hand. Awesome job. Bring it down. Take 45. So, this is the key of this move. So, this move is an anti-rotation exercise. What we want to do is focus on stabilizing our core. So, we got to build stability before you go off in the world creating all these dynamic movements. So as we keep creating our stability, we'll be able to flow and get better and better. I always use this analogy. The first time you got on the bike, what were you searching for? Balance, my center? Yes, you were looking for balance, your center, you were looking for stability. And once you kept doing that, what happened? You started riding the bike with no hands. You out here doing <laughs> wheelies until you fail. Yeah. I failed once, that hurt. And we're back into our torque press in three. Gonna get it. Two, and go. Good, turn, now we're looking for power. Power up, good, that was awesome. Power up. So it's about moving that force. Look at the velocity that she's creating in this motion. Great job. She's still, it's bite, uh-oh. Nope, 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 I can't use it's violent with Nikki. Violent. It's, <laughs> it's exciting. Yeah. Exciting moves that we are doing as we press. We Keeping our core yes. tight. <laughs> and get up. Nice. We're almost there. We have three more starting now. Let's get it. I'm barking on your neck. Oh Let's go. One more. Awesome job, guys. Awesome job. Good. So now we're going to switch over. We're almost there. And take a deep breath in. Y'all ready? Yeah. You ready? Y'all yeah, yeah. ready? ready? You're ready? Yeah. And three, two, go, and one. Nice. Great job, Jordan. Two, so as she's going into the transition, she's still racking to her shoulder, but as she racks, she's already in that rotary rotation. So she's rotating to press her dumbbell overhead, but again, her wrist still stacks over her shoulder and it's directly up. That's it, awesome job. Pay attention to the motion, our head will move too. Good, we have four more. Power up, three more. Power up, two more. Woo! Last one, awesome job, way to work guys. All right. Them shoulders are bad. They are, they are. So we're gonna go into our swings. This teaches us all about flexion in our ankle and our knee and our hips and it also works on our extension as well. Athletes, yes you, we need those movements. And three, two, and on rack swing, one, two. Don't allow your knees to cave in, three. So imagine that band is still around your knees, right? And you're feeding your glutes, not allowing any valgus in the knee. As we shoot through, we shoot the glute as we rack it. Good. Almost there, coach is gonna scream it out. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Last one. Good job, break it down. So, we're gonna go back into our beast. We're almost done, then we're gonna say, we saved the fun part for last. Our block three, we got, wow. I love it, Ooh, slow feet don't eat, baby. And five, four, three, Two, and he got it out of him. Right hand, good, balance. Left hand, awesome job. Left leg, good job. 
Right leg. Good job. Hold it, stabilize. So now we're keeping our core tight. Again, we wanna make sure our form is there. Look where you are. Use this moment to check your form. Right hand. Good. Left leg. Nice. Left hand. Last one, and left hand, right leg. Oh. Whoa! Uh oh, there it is. Good job. All right, everyone, take, we're gonna take 60, because we're gonna go into cardio, and I want you guys to catch your breath, okay? So, this is a 13 week commitment. So, from day one, we gotta show up. So, I talk about it with the crew all the time. If you don't decide right now, and you don't step over this line and come join this money team, then whenever you are ready, we're gonna be right here waiting on you. But it starts with just breaking that inertia. Get the ball rolling. Let's get to it. You guys got this. So now we're gonna get to our cardio portion. So we call this cardio 45. This will be for 45 seconds. First thing we're gonna start off with, low knees. We're gonna be here hanging out and then some loud animal is gonna start chasing us and then we're gonna go in high knees. I'm gonna call it out. This is a 45 second transition. When we're finished, we're gonna take 15 seconds. Once we're finished with our 15 seconds, we're gonna go into dynamic chops right after, okay? And then I'll tell you what we're gonna do after that in our last transition. But for right now, let's get your minds ready. Coach, how long we got? Yep. Oh, doesn't matter, we gonna go. It don't matter. <laughs> we gonna put this work in. So it. everyone, we're gonna start off with low knees in three, two, Woo. one, right here. Find your pace, find your tempo, okay? The right coast. Yes, oh, hold on, where, where are we? Where are we? And all right, we're gonna head back up. High knees, let's go. Drive those knees, we're moving. Run to the puppy. Low knees, good, catch your breath. Walk Use this time. This is a walk in the park. Okay, very Back slow. Very <laughs> slow. Yeah, get now, high knees, a little higher. Very slow. Now, at any time, this is too intense for you. March, 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 march. Low knees. Good. Same thing. At any time, you can go into your march. And three, two, bring it down. Awesome job. So now we're going to go into dynamic chops. I'm gonna have my right foot or my left. Doesn't matter what side we start with. We gotta do both, remember? So I'm gonna diagonal this, my knee is out. I'm going to sit, chop. As I chop, my outside leg is in extension. We're here, 22 and a half seconds each side. Then we switch over. Let's get to it. Three, two, yeah. go, and one, two. So why do we call this 645? Three. Six days a week, 45 minutes. And People come on 6:45. Oh yeah. So I like that. most okay. people, that's true. So in the beast body community, 6:45 is the most logged time for people to work out in. So I want to be the first thing you saw and switch. And three, <laughs> two, and go. Yeah, who doesn't want to start their day with you? Who doesn't want to start the day with us? That's right. That's it. Let's go. So you see, I'm very dynamic in my hips but my core is tight. So the motion is coming from your hip. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Next we have lateral bounds. So I'm gonna show you. Here's a pit of fire. We're gonna jump over the pit of fire. We're gonna land on thin ice. Oh, Manny hates it when I say we're gonna land on ice. But when we land, sink, absorb, get into that motion soft. I want you quiet. So we balance on one leg. We jump here, sink, reset. We go when I say go. Amala. And three. Amala says. A little game of Amala says. <laughs> Two. And go. Gush. Green. Oh, Almost. Got we got someone. Green. Go. Now remember, if you're modifying, you're stepping through. Go! Good. Look at Cheyenne as she steps through. Go! Stepping through, staying low. Go! Balancing, staying low. Go! Good. Go! Shh. 
Listen to this. Go! That's good. Go! Shh. Go! Nice. Go! And stop. Awesome job. Take 45. So let's talk about our cardio. Our cardio is just not about getting sweaty. We go over a lot of mechanics. So we talk about absorbing contact, that eccentric phase, trying not to sound loud when we land. Those are mechanics that will help you. They'll help you with your run, they'll help you with your jump. Now, it's important to start mastering this because in the beginning stage, stage one, we take it slow. Stage two, we progress. And then stage three, we turn it up. And stage four, it's performance week. We gonna put it all out on the line in three, hey, 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 hey. two, and low knees. We're just gonna stay right here. And then when we go into our high knees, I'm gonna have you march it out, all right? <laughs> and high knees, good. Dry those knees, stay up high, keep moving. Low knees, we're out here at the beach, chilling. I saw, hey girl, hey. Oh, hey guy, what's up? <laughs> And then there's, what is doing? that? It's is, Manny. is that a bear, high knees? Oh, it was Manny. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Low knees. We good. We outran Manny. We outran him. <laughs> and he ain't gonna catch up. High knees. He ain't catching up. Hey, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Bring it down. <laughs> catch your breath. Oh, we also go over breath work in this program, too. We're gonna talk about that, too. And five, four, dynamic chops. We're heading this way. Three, two, and go. Pivot that leg. So what do these help with in real life? So rotary power. So think about any baseball player. We're playing violent baseball. We're playing violent golf, badminton, <laughs> same stuff. We're here for a few seconds. Hey, four, three, two, switch. And three, two, one, and go. Now remember, you can go at your own pace. This is what I love about it. You don't have to go as fast as us. It's all about, hey, he slowed it down. He's like, all right, take your time. We have 13 weeks. Don't be so extreme. Let's build up slow. 1% better every day in three, two, one. Now, breathe. Deep breath in, long exhale out. So we go through diaphragm breathing. Try to get your heart rate to come down because that also helps you with your performance. We're going into our lateral bounds in three, two, go. And jump over the fire, sink soft. Jump over, sink soft. Go, good, go, go. Go, I told you I was gonna bring them out, go. A little dance move action. Go. Go. Good. Soft. Go. See how Jordan is soft. Go. Good. Green. Go. Ah. Green means go, yeah. man. Not, not Jeez. with it. Go. The word go means go. 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 Last one. I messed y'all up with my tone. Go. No. All right, take 45. This will be our last one. So we're going to shorten this one up a little bit for you guys. Yeah. So I look at body language. We do all this stuff. We talk about every fundamental thing that we need to to help you get better. It's not just about training. It's about how we sleep. It's how we think. It's how we move. We're practicing movement, not muscle. So team, we're gonna get back into it in a couple more seconds. We got 15 seconds, then everything is only gonna be 30 seconds. So remember, program overview, this is 13 weeks, four stages, six days a week, 45 minutes of your time. Let's get to it. We're starting in three, two, low knees. <laughs> gotta love that smile. Gotta love your voice. We're in this together. Let's go, high knees. Woo. Woo. Let's go. And low knees, bring them down. Nice, slow commitment. High knees. Uh-oh, we halfway there. I had to look at the clock because I know Cody ain't looking at the clock. Low knees. Hey, 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 hey. You better be looking at the clock. High knees. We were at 
<laughs> ah, stop. We had high knees twice in a row. Whew, this is what happens when me and Coach go at it. All right, so guys, we are now going to get into our next move. Hey, we got, what we got, Coach? We got five seconds. All right, we got five seconds. We're going to get back into those chops. Three. And three, two, and chop. Only 15 seconds this time, everyone. So, thrust through, keep going. We talk about nutrition. Make sure you stay on your nutrition. And switch. Go. Good. So now, get through it. Extend that leg. Push through it. Hey. And five, four, three, two, one. All right, Nikki. Yeah. I got to see your lateral bound. We got 15 seconds until we go. Right. Remember, we're going to reach our peak. We're gonna go slow. We're gonna build in five, four, three, <laughs> two. Let's see what you got. Go. Uh oh. Where you going? This kid here. Whose son is this? Yes. Go. 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 Ooh, go. Quiet. Go. Born killers. Go. Who wouldn't want to work out with us go. right now? Go! Come on, Come on, tell them, go! Yeah. Where y'all at? Go! Go! Go, last one! Bring it out. Good job, everyone. Like Jordan said, who wouldn't want to work out with us? Listen, we preach positivity and fun. Let's head it down. Let's cool down, all right, everyone? Fun. Yeah. So, first thing we're going to start with is our half kneel stretch. So we're gonna get into our hip flexor. We're just gonna push our leg forward, our knee forward, keep your heel down. And we're gonna take three deep breaths, everyone, and go. So we're back to our breath work again. We wanna allow our bodies to relax and lower our heart rate. And we switch and going forward again and push. Good job, take this outside leg, go into an adductor hold. We just kind of sit our butt towards our heel and hold. Three deep breaths. Use this time to cool off. Now we switch. So we're hitting those muscles and breathe. Don't forget about that big toe. Oh yeah, we can't forget about the big toes. <laughs> so dig your toe into the ground, cause what? Big toes need love too. Yes, they do. Last deep breath. Let's go off and finish into a cobra, everyone. It was awesome hanging out with you guys. I can't wait to see you guys. I can't wait to go down this journey with you. Continue to be great. Even if you don't begin this program with me, just keep doing what you're doing. Consistency is key. And uh, the day you do decide to come hang out, we're right here waiting on you, all right, everyone? So great job today. Guys, this is 645. Can't wait for you to get started. Good job, everyone. Good job, everyone. Hey. 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 Thank you for sampling 645 with me today. I hope you had as much fun as we did sweating it out, getting better together, doing all these amazing things. These moves are just a taste of what you'll see in 645. They were taken from various stages of the program, so don't worry. If you weren't able to master them all, we will progress together. The most important thing is you did it. You took the first step to reaching your peak. If you enjoyed yourself and you're loving this and want something that's more meaningful and a change in your life, make sure you talk to your Beachbody coach. Sign up for Beachbody On Demand today. 645 is gonna give you the total solution to reach your peak and get serious results. Just look at these killers who just like you took the chance and committed to six days a week, 45 minutes a day, and for 13 weeks. So, once you've signed up for BOD, you'll join BOD groups where you can find like-minded individuals who will offer you a combination of fitness, nutrition support, accountability, and community. 
Bar groups, join the journey. It's only gonna help you guys, and we have a tribe that is here to help you get the most out of your workouts. If you buy a challenge pack today, there are supplements, tools to keep you on track on your way to reaching your goals. Thanks for joining us today. Taking the first step to getting a better you, being a healthier you, and now let's get ready to reach your peak.